Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. This week we are doing the glass snow globe tumbler. I had a lot of fun creating this design and it's a great alternative if you don't want to use epoxy, you don't necessarily need to. So I can't wait to get started. You might find some discount codes down below, so check it out and let's let's get this party started make sure you guys come check out misfit makers on facebook it's a great community to be a part of and also our patreon mentorship group we have signups at the beginning of the month every single month as long as there are spots available so check those out again they will both be linked down below all right guys, so today I'm using a glass snow globe tumbler from Ava Jane's Blinks. Uh, these tumblers are really nice, very high quality, and I'm super impressed. I absolutely love that they already come with the hole uh, drilled at the bottom of it. That way you don't have to mess with any of that. And they come with a little stopper, so it makes like cleanup and make sure like that your tumbler is sealed super easy. Love them. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of painter's tape, tape them together, and then tape them at the top of my cup. The reason I'm taping two pieces together is because I don't want the sticky side of my tape on the inside of my tumbler because once we start applying glitter, I don't want my glitter to stick to my tape. So I just found that this was a lot easier. Next, I'm going to go in with my glitter choice. Today, I'm using Humble and Smitten, both from Peachy Olive, and I just I just mix them together to create um, the color I wanted. So, both gorgeous colors. I'm going to start by filling in the bottom of my tumbler and using a dry makeup brush to kind of brush that glitter into the hole. The nice thing is the hole on these are, they're a good size. <laughs> uh, so it makes the glitter very easily to like fall down in and fall down the side of your cups. You don't have to sit there and like work super hard at it. I, I just love these cups. Okay, so once you get all of your glitter added, and I probably filled my glitter up about half, about halfway up, okay? The more glitter you add, the less movement you're going to get. So if you want a lot of movement, add less glitter. Then we're going to go in with our mixture. So I'm using 50% gl vegetable glycerin and 50% distilled water. You want half and half equal parts. And we're just going to use our measuring cup and mix this up thoroughly. Mix it like you're kind of mixing epoxy. Once it's not cloudy anymore, then you know your mixture's ready. So once I got that ready, then I went ahead and added it to a condiment bottle you can find at like your local Dollar Tree, just because it's going to be a lot easier to fill your tumbler up with a condiment bottle than anything else. So do not fill your cup up all the way. Start out slow. So I would just add a little bit of mixture at a time, and then you're just going to shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body, right? Work, 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 Sonora. Okay, anyway, you're going to shake it up really, really, really good because you want that mixture to get all the way down to the bottom of your cup and get that glitter that's at your, your top rim. Um, moving. So add just a few squirts at a time, mix, 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 add a few more squirts, mix, mix, mix. Okay. I know some people use like, um, like a back massager and they can like, you know, work the water down that way. I didn't really have any issues. So I just found shaking it did the job. What your goal is, is you want like a quarter size air bubble. Anything bigger than that, you're going to be, it's going to look like you didn't fill your cup up with enough mixture. So about a quarter size is what you want. I actually left um, a little bigger of a bubble here in this one, and I was like, dang it. But it's okay. It still turned out super cute. Also, I find out, I, I found it helpful if you leave your cup sit for like an hour and let that water just like do its own thing, leave your cup alone and come back because that bubble will, for one, the water will work itself down to the bottom. Here I'm showing you that, see, my, my air bubble is just still a little too big. I have all that section left still to fill. 
But anyway, if you leave your cup sit for a little bit and come back, that water will work itself down and the air bubble will work itself to the bottom of your cup where, where it's at right now, you see, and then you're able to like fill in, fill that bubble in. Okay. Does that make sense? Hopefully. <laughs> all right. So the next step after you get your cup all filled up and you're happy with it and your air bubble is about, like I said, the size of a quarter, um, you can go ahead and add your stopper to the bottom of your cup. So make sure you put it in a safe spot. I know these things are like tiny and you can, you can lose them. <laughs> Uh, but go ahead and put your stopper in. Look at look at her. She's looking so beautiful. Look at that movement. Whoosh, 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 wah. Okay, so after you get your stopper into the bottom of your cup, I went ahead and made sure my bottom was super dry. So I took some alcohol to it, wiped the bottom of it, and then dried it with a paper towel really, really, really good, okay? Next step is I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue Clear Tape. You can find it. I think I got this at Walmart, but we are going to use extra protection because extra protection is always better, guys. You know, life lesson. Um, <laughs> and we, I'm going to use my one inch hole puncher and punch out a circle from my, from my tape. Okay. So I just took a piece of tape and I, right now I'm using like the back of, um, a piece of vinyl to stick it to and then I'm going to use my hole puncher and we're going to punch that out. Like I said guys, it's just an extra step of protection. If you're selling these, I would hate for you to do all of this work and then your customer be like, I don't know why, but my cup is leaking. So um, after you get your piece of tape cut out, you can go ahead and apply your little circle again make sure the bottom of your cup is super dry. This mixture is almost like a baby oil mixture. Like that's what it feels like. So um, make sure you're using something to wipe that off with, like baby wipe, alcohol, whatever, whatever you prefer. Once you apply your little clear circle, then we're going to go ahead and UV resin it. So before I UV resin the entire bottom, I... I want to just focus on my hole. So I took a little UV resin. Uh, the UV resin I'm using today is from CCDIY along with the light. And I'm just going to put like a pea size of UV resin on that clear tape. Spread it out nice and evenly because you do not want your cup to be like uneven. You don't want to bubble at the bottom of your cup or anything. Um, and then go ahead and hit it with the light. After that cures, then I went ahead and did the entire bottom. Now, if you're going to epoxy this, I would say as long as you do the circle, you would not necessarily need to UV resin the entire bottom if you're going to go ahead and epoxy it. But again, extra steps of protection um, is always going to help at, in the long run because I would hate for something to happen to your cup after you do all this work. So I went ahead, UV resin again, just making sure that it is one nice even coat um, where, so it doesn't affect the way my cup sits on a table or anything. All right, after I UV resin the bottom um, and that is fully cured, I'm, next I'm going to take some alcohol and wipe down my entire cup just because we are handling it a lot and we've been messing with like tape and sticky residue and UV resin, resin and all this. So I want to make sure it's nice and clean. So just use a little bit of alcohol, uh, paper towel and wipe it really, really good. After that is done, um, basically you are done. You can stop at this step and just enjoy your gorgeous snow globe. Um, but of course I wanted to add a decal. So these decals are from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. They're her new white clear cast decals, and I love them. I'm obsessed. I've been putting them on all of my cups because if you're like me, you have cups sitting around, and nobody has time to mess with a Cricut or Silhouette, right? <laughs> so I went ahead and I picked out the one I want and applied it to my cup. Now, do not worry about... Um, like the edges, since it is glass, don't worry about the edges of this showing. I promise you, if you epoxy it, it'll they they will disappear. 
Now, if you still didn't want to epoxy your cup, but you wanted to add a decal, you could always use 651 permanent vinyl and you wouldn't necessarily need to apply epoxy over that. Um, but just know over time, even permanent vinyl will, will start to peel off eventually. So if you're not using permanent vinyl, then yes, you will need to epoxy over it to ensure the lifespan of this cup. All right, so after I have my decal on my cup, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice good coat of epoxy. I'm using CC DIY's facet, which I love. And we're gonna give it, like I said, a nice even coat. Um, after that was done, after my cup was cured, I went ahead and did a light sand. Since it is glass, I don't wanna like do a heavy sand like I would on a tumbler. So I did a nice light sand and then went in with my artist resin from CCDIY for the final coat. Once that is fully cure, your cup is good to go. Okay, so I couldn't leave my lid like bamboo right? I just needed an extra pizzazz. So I'm going to go in and rhinestone my lid. But first, I want to give my lid a nice base coat. Anytime I'm using rhinestones, if it doesn't already have a base coat, then I'm going to put one on there. Um, I'm using purple from Pop of Color. It's a chalk-based paint. I prefer chalk paint over acrylic based paint just because I feel like you get better coverage. This angled brush I'm using right now is also from CCDIY. It is one of my favorite brushes because I love the flat brushes. Um, so definitely check those out too. Okay, once your base coat is dry, then you can start applying your rhinestones. The rhinestones I'm using today are from the Glitter Craze. And I'm using two different colors and basically just doing this scattered method with my lid and starting from the inner part and working my way out. I'm also using liquid fusion to apply these rhinestones. If you prefer something else, that's okay. Um, I just prefer the liquid fusion. So I have a little bit in my container over here and the way I'm applying it is I'm using a throwaway paintbrush and just brushing on a thin coat. You don't want to add too much liquid fusion because like your rhinestones will slide all over the place and it'll clump up in spots and then you won't be able to like butt your rhinestones up right next to each other. So make sure you're just doing a nice thin coat. Um, I didn't realize how small these rhinestones were, so when I started applying them, I was like, oh my gosh, but like any rhinestone project, just put on your favorite show, and it probably took me eh, only like a half hour to finish my lid. I also did around the edge too, just because I was like, why not, right? So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button so you get notified every single time we post videos. We try to upload, upload videos every Friday. Um, also, make sure you are a part of our Misfit Makers Facebook community and check out our mentorship group. If you like, if you enjoy the way we teach, the mentorship group is a great place for you to grow your business and learn a lot of tips. So here she is, guys. I think she turned out gorgeous. Um, I, I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I also want to give a big thank you to all of our Patreon members. Your support means so much to us, and we wouldn't be here without you guys. So I can't thank you guys enough. So, all right, I will catch you guys later.